Okay, so last time we left off, we were able to actually get our data and extract from data from the content tags. So from uh, whoops, inside of inside of these content tags, it, these content tags right here. So we extracted the data successfully, and we were able to parse it and extract what was in between these ahrefs and what was in between these image source tags. So now we're going to uh, go a little further and we're going to create an object class to help us organize it for our card view. So we're going to create a new class. We'll call it, uh, I'm just going to call it post because each one of these is, is a post. It's a post to a particular subreddit. So I'll call it post. And inside post, we just need to create all the parameters that we're going to be getting. So we're going to be getting the, the title, we're going to be getting the author, we're going to be getting the date updated, we're going to be getting, oops the post URL and we can get the, uh, do I care about the user URL? I don't care about the user URL. We'll leave that out and we'll just get the thumbnail URL. Okay. And then we just go get our default constructor, then our getter and setter methods. So I'm, I'm hitting alt and insert to insert these if you don't know what I'm doing. So just literally hit the alt button, hit insert, and you get this pop-up menu. You can get your getter and setter methods, or you can get your default constructor. And that's all we're going to do in this class. And in case I wasn't clear, this is what we're going to be displaying in the cards. So we're just going to have a title, the author, the date, the post URL. Um, I guess the post URL actually isn't going to be on there technically. It's going to be when we maybe later when we click on the post itself, that's that's going to that's going to take us to that URL. And then of course the thumbnail URL to display the thumbnail in the card. So let's close that and we'll go back to um, main activity here. And so last time we created this we created this for loop right here and we iterate through each one of the entries and then extract the data from the tag. So we extracted the ahref tag and we extracted the data uh, the, from the image. So this is going to be the, this is going to be the thumbnail. So if we look at our data here, so this would be like one entry. Um, the first, the first ahref tag is always going to be the post itself right here. The image is going to be the thumbnail. So that's actually all we're going to need to extract from the content tag because we can get the author, the updated and the title from the, this, this method right here. So if you watched my previous video, you can, we can just do entries, get the index, get author, get name. You can use get updated to get the, um, the date and get title to get the time or get the title. So that's fine. Let's go down here and we'll create, actually we'll go up to the top here and above the for loop, we'll create a new array list and it's going to hold post objects. I'm going to call it posts equals a new array list. And then inside of the loop, every time we loop through, Every time we get a new entry, we want to create a new post. So we can go posts.add new post. And let's close that off. And the first parameter, I believe, if we look at our post class was title. So title author date. So we can just do entries.get the index that we're at and then get title for the first one. And then entries.get the index and get author, get the author name for the author name entries dot get the index and then get updated for the uh, date and time okay so those three parameters are very simple now we're just going to get the post link from this and we're going to get the image thumbnail from here so the image which one's first let's see the post URL is first so we would go and call our post content object right here our post content list object here so we go post content and we know that the post URL is always going to be the first index because if we look at the data down here, this is the post right here. And this is the very first index of the entry. So if we, it's the same for every single entry. The first one is always the post. First, 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 first. So that's going to be our post URL. So that's why we can use this uh, zeroth index here. But the image URL is going to be a little different. Or sorry, the image thumbnail is going to be a little different. We're going to need to get the, the last index. So in each one of, because here we, we're going to be filtering out all of the ahref tags and there could be multiples. In each one of these, there is multiples. So here we have, we have one, uh, we have two, three, four. So we have four. There's four and that, that might not be the case always. There could be three. 
So we have four of these uh, ahref tags and we have one of these image tags. And we, since we parse the image tag after we parse the ahref ones, the image, the image thumbnail is always going to be contained in the very last position of this post content list. So whatever the last position is, that's where it's going to be. So we can actually just go um, integer last position equals post content dot size. And actually the index is going to be one less. So we can just do that and then we can pass the last position right here. Okay, and um, and so now after this loop runs, we'll have we'll have everything inside of our uh, we'll have everything inside of our post array. So we have all the individual posts organized nicely and ready to put into cards. So outside of the for loop, I just want to make sure that I got all the correct data. So I'm going to create another for loop and I'm going to iterate through each one of these posts and just print it to the log just so I can look at it. So we've got another for loop, integer j equals zero, and j is less than posts.size, and j plus plus, and then we'll do log d, uh, I'm gonna do a new line, and the first one will be, we're looking at the post URL, so that's gonna be posts.getj dot get post URL. And then we'll do, just do the thumbnail URL. I guess it doesn't really matter what order. I'm just gonna copy this actually. Get that down there. So we'll get the thumbnail URL, okay. And next we'll do uh, the title. So paste that again. And this is gonna be get title, okay. And the next one would be author. And this would be get author. And then the last one is updated. So then we just post that in there. I can get rid of that plus, and that should be good. So let's run this and make sure that all of our data is looking the way it should. Okay, so, so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, so here's, I just scrolled up to the very top. So this is gonna be where my loop starts here because you can tell because it's nicely organized with all these new lines. So you can see here's our post URL, let's click it. That works fine. Let's uh, grab our thumbnail URL, that looks good. And here's the title, that looks good. The author, uh, we could do some extra parsing here and get rid of that U, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, and then there is updated, that's not right. That's a link. Okay, so we have a problem with the updated. Oh, because I called get post URL, so get date updated. Okay, let's run that again. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, now we can see it looks like it's working correctly. So we're gonna have all of our posts, thumbnail, title, author, and date updated. And just scanning these quickly, everything looks like it's organized pretty well. So now, now we're ready to create cards. So now the data is organized in a nice way. We have our URL, our thumbnail, our title, our author, and our updated date. All right, so I'm just gonna end the video here. I'll end it here, and that way it's nicely organized. In the next video, we'll go over actually putting these into card view. So we'll create our card view layout, we'll create our list view, we'll create our custom uh, card view adapter, and we'll actually put these things into a list view in card views. Make sure to leave a like if this video was helpful. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.